What makes a good leader? So a good leader has many attributes and characteristics. First is the humility to always learn from all and sundry. When you look at yourself in the mirror, it needs some sort of a compelling vision. Because that's what people follow. Mm -hmm. Why vision matters? Because you need to sell people something that says, tomorrow will be substantially better on a composite basis than yesterday. If you can't do that, you're not worthy to be content. So you can't find people with 10 rand and leave them with 4 rand and call yourself a leader. Mm -hmm. The second thing, is you need courage. This is what I Courage of your own convictions. You must believe in something. Because if you don't believe in anything, it's like Alice in Wonderland. If you don't know where you're going, every room will take you there. And the danger is you won't even know that you are there. Because you have never visualized it. So that you can recognize you. There are many people that are working like crazy. They don't even know that they are rich. Because they've never defined what success looks like. Or what does good look like. There are many people who are unhappy with their bodies. How they look, how they talk, how they present, how they show up. Because they've never asked themselves the question to say, what does good me? Mm -hmm. Not good him. Not good him. Good me. Mm -hmm. What is my best side? So that when they say a selfie, I'll, say, I'll show them my right. <laughs> <laughs> because they've never defined. The third is integrity. This is the one that's less sexy. You can't call yourself a leader when the intent was to rob your people blind. Integrity means acting in the best interest of others. It's like being in love. You know, when you fall in love with somebody, you don't fall in love with them for what you can get. You fall in love for what you can give. That's how our democracy became successful. Our forebears didn't come to the negotiating table so much looking at what is it that they can get. It wasn't grab at all costs. They came prepared to give up something. They gave up something. So when you get into a relationship and you say to somebody, I want to get married to you, you give up your freedom. Now you have to account to somebody. When you've been sent to buy milk, and you think about oranges, the onus is on you to say, honey, you sent me to spa. I've just thought it would be a good idea to buy a sack of oranges at pick and pay so that I can, so that nobody wonders about your own personal safety and well -being. <laughs> That's what integrity is. So how do I make sure that I act in your best interest, that I bring out the best in you, that I complete you. Where there are rough edges, I smooth them. Where there are valleys, I fill them up. Where there are big mountains, I flat them up.